Government reaffirms venue for National Sports University as submitted earlier to center. National Sports University Harautel Protection Committee suspends agitation. Former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur Gai Khangam in a Twitter feed accuses BJP state government of snatching land of tribals for National Sports University. Education Minister S. Rajan tells concern to works executing agencies of education department not to release bills to contractors if they don't give quality works. Manipur observes 29th World Mental Health Day 2020 on Mental Health for All Greater Investment Greater Access Theme. And India's COVID-19 tally crosses 69.79 lakhs with over 73,000 new cases reported in the last 24 hours. Country's recovery rate stands above 85%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Usham. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the top stories and latest news edits are. National Sports University Harautel Protection Committee has decided to suspend its agitation. Segmai MLA Haikam Dingo, representatives of National Sports University Harautel Protection Committee and villages in Segmai constituency met with Chief Minister Nongthombam Biren yesterday. They apprised the Chief Minister about the ongoing tension in various parts of the constituency with regards to construction of National Sports University at Harautel. It may be recalled that intense agitations erupted between two communities over the jurisdiction of Harautel as one party claims it falls in Kangpokpi district while the committee claims that it falls in Imphal West district. Following an agreement in the meeting with the Chief Minister, National Sports University Harautel Protection Committee has decided to withdraw its agitation. The agreed terms include reaffirmation of the venue for the construction of National Sports University at Harautel as earlier submitted to the central government to award befitted punishments to those culprits who uploaded fake documents on social media which incited controversies over the venue for the construction of the sports university and to hold discussions with various stakeholders concerned to ensure smooth construction of the national sports university we affirm the site of the national sports university which had been submitted to the central government in earlier instances the state government condemned and considered unfortunate the circulation of the fabricated information in various social media based on fact documents regarding the university. The state government will take necessary appropriate action against persons responsible for such mischief. The state government will continue to consult all stakeholders and extend cooperation in future to ensure that the National Sports University becomes operational least delay. Meanwhile, Sekmai MLA Haikam Dingo said a venue for the construction of National Sports University NSU falls in Imphal West District. He was speaking at a public meet organized by Kautruk Youth Development Club at Kautruk today. Speaking further, MLA Dingo assured that controversies over the venue's jurisdiction will be resolved at the earliest. He appeals to leave behind communal differences and focus on bringing development in the state. Stating that any resident of Manipur can reside at any place one desires, he appeals to refrain from claiming the areas they inhabit as their own. Emily Dingo disclosed that investigation will be carried out to find out the officials concerned involved in naming El Tangnum village in Kangpokpi district. He reiterated that construction of NSU is being carried out in an area of Imphal West District and that efforts are on to lift the CRPC Section 144 imposed by Kampuk PDC in the area. He added that all the original documents pertaining to the land's jurisdiction are still with the state Darbar.
Tangamaiwa village ming thonu matamda hoyi madure chena ba official sing hai tarre. Adu ba koi na thikar na ba koi kan na hone ri hai tarre. Che mujhe kangu pidi sti oina padri bra. Masi di aigi motor ei impal gusme na pahani na kalle. Koi Manipur si koi maitei khatagi nati ko Manipur je tamineri si kuki naga maitei pangal maitei koi mayam punna laminar kan na amata unity oiba state ma hai tarre. Adu mana same mani ana kanogi koi ki kuki sinau sing adu ki maitei sinau sing ani magta ina thamjeni musi koi shanti oina yam. Nusianana, amat tuai bawa kalau anda kau pun nih minasi. Lagi bahan lagi migi cap-capi, mafam tu dah. Yes, kau yai, mui hongo layu. Madu tu dah mui nih layu laga, mami atau pot thonjal lakna. Ada ke district nung amma ma toksen lakpo sih. Masih kau yai, Shanghai kender kater nanti masih Chandel dah atau pot pot mafam mani pugi jaga. Ayam muda, masih yam tuai nih thopo adum ba isu ni. Anu masih tahun jening de layu ba jaga duri. Madu make Shangna. Impal gusu orang gusu, impal gusu nih layu ba. Is orang gusu is orang nih layu ba. Cinggi jaga orang gusu. Sarai hil district nih hai tar gusu district tu ki cap-capana layu ba adum ba kenoda. Nak ayam on the other hand, former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur and Congress leader Gai Kungam has accused the BJP government in Manipur of snatching the land of tribals for the construction of National Sports University. In a Twitter fit, the Congress leader said that instead of forcing tribal people and resorting to violent suppression of protests, the government could have built consensus. He added that this is not this is how the BJP works. Education, Fishery and Kadam Minister S. Rajan has advised the concerned works executing agencies of Education Department not to release any bill if the contractors do not follow particulars in the work order. He also asked for strict comp uh, compliance to the instructions of the concerned Engineering Department. Speaking on the sidelines of inspection visits to various government colleges located in Imphal West, Bishnupur and Imphal East districts today, Minister S. Rajan expressed dissatisfaction with the infrastructure of the government colleges. He instructed the engineering department to halt the ongoing construction of a library building of DM College of Teachers Education as it needs to be reviewed as the quality of construction was not satisfactory. The minister visited El Sanoy College, Nambol, as Kula Women's College, Imphal College, a Liberal College in Luang Shangbam and GP Women's College. He assured that in case of shortage of fund in the Education Department for development and renovation of these colleges, proposals and DPRs will be prepared and submitted to the concerned Ministry for more funding. ไม่ใช่พวกเดิมโพลีสเดชฮาร์มีบ้างสิ่งที่เดิมทักกันมีบ้างไม่เอาจริงๆแต่มันจะต้องหลุดรู้สิโลกนี้สิ่งที่เรา
mental health problem CD by the city in a chat even in a logic equipment into the young common way about line I'm in Nessan health survey 15 16 the 15 person the we mental health problems in like mental health problems in my name yummy way anxiety neurosis depression schizophrenia mania dementia drug misuses India the state could be money for quite you want me to lady but mental stress here had the COVID-19 lap with the gi how do we handle it COVID-19 and lap is the get holy busy car you know have the physical mental, emotional, and psychological, and financial stress. We could have to do it. 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 I beg your pardon. Indian Psychiatric Society, Manipur State Branch, and Ward Development Committee of Kakching Kuno Municipal Council Wards No. 9 also observed World Mental Health Day at Umatel Mayalekai today. President of Indian Psychiatric Society, Manipur State Branch, Dr. S. Manikanta, Branch Secretary, Dr. T. Gojendro, and Councillor of Kakching Kuno Municipal Council Wards No. 9, K. H. Radhamani, attended the event. Experts at the event stressed on how to cope with mental health issues in times of COVID-19 pandemic. Ten doctors of Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch also checked up residents of Umatel who attended the event and provided them free medicines on the occasion. The Sai World Manipur also organized a mental health awareness workshop on the occasion of World Mental Health Day today. A group of clinical psychologists of Manipur organized the event at the Foothill, a community art space at Kongampat Mantri Lekai. Life skill training, imaginary meditation, exercises, etc. were held at the workshop. Clinical psychologists Pampa Kumukcham, Ngairangbam Jevina and Miranda Yendrembam stressed on mental health issues at the event. Music performance by Simon of Manipur's famed Pebet Band highlighted the event, attended by many people. Intending candidate of Andro Assembly constituency, Lorimbam Sanjoy, has appeals to those concerned to stop abusing National Security Act as an act which was established for the safety and security of the nation. He was speaking to media as he came out of the jail yesterday. Many of his supporters gave him a warm welcome and expressed joy upon his release. It may be recalled that El Sanjoy was detained under NSA as per an order dated May 18 this year, issued by Imphal East District Magistrate. His father, Laurembam Shamjai, pleaded in the High Court of Manipur, upon which Sanjoy was produced before the double bench of the High Court, comprising of Justice K. H. Nobin and Justice Hantem Bimol, on October 1st for the last hearing. Later, the court came with a verdict on October 8th, quashing the NSA imposed upon El Sanjoy. <laughs> ขอบคุณครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
People's Front, RPF, People's Liberation Front, reportedly ambushed the security forces at Sajik Kampag in Chandal district. Press release from RPF Publicity Secretary said that the incident occurred at around 2.30 p.m. yesterday. It also mentioned that the incident occurred when security forces cordoned the area where a special team of the mobile battalion was stationed. Chief Minister Nongtuma Biren has assured to look into the lacking infrastructure of the 50-bedded hospital at Ziribam's Ningxingkul. Convener of District Hospital Monitoring Committee Ziribam and Sadananda intimated the same to media persons. Speaking to media and Sadananda said members of the committee met with Chief Minister N. Biren at CM Banglo today and apprised him about the lacking infrastructure of the hospital. It may be mentioned that District Hospital Monitoring Committee Ziribam had earlier called 48-hour total shutdown in Ziribam District, demanding adequate infrastructure and staff at the hospital. People of Wankai Assembly Constituency, Wards number 26, Polling station 15 by 5, 15 by 6, 15 by 7, 15 by 8, 15 by 9 have accorded a warm welcome to the new Mahud Social Welfare Cooperation Minister Okram Henry today. Speaking on the occasion, social activist Nongthombam Rajendro asserted that Okram Henry resigned from his MLA post to contribute in strengthening the state government and not for the want of a ministerial birth. The reception program was held at Sinam Shyama Devi Town Hall in Chingmirong Maninglekai. Speaking at the event, Minister Okram Henry assured to put his best in developing Wangkai constituency and the state as a whole. Wangkai Assembly constituency, what's number? Cooperator Maibon Paume also attended the event. Hang COVID-19 Task Force YVO Yai School organized a reception ceremony for the new CAF and PD Minister Thokchom Satyabrata at Gopal Dev Mandop Kangshang in Yai School, Chingakam Lerak today. Speaking at the event, Minister T. H. Satyabrata claimed that Chief Minister N. Biren appointed him as a minister in public's interest. He appealed for public support and to give him valuable ideas and knowledge during his tenure as a minister. A team of Thaubal District Police Commando, including women police, carried out door-to-door -door search operation at Karen Bikog, Mamanglekai, as a part of uh, precautionary measures in view of the upcoming by-election. Altogether, 250 individuals of 85 households were verified during the drive, carried out from 4.45 a.m. till 7.15 a.m. today. No one was arrested. However, 100 kg of fermented rice used in manufacturing local liquor was seized during the drive. The team also came across three licensed gun holders, out of which one has deposited the arm, while the other two have applied for exemption. Manipur State Council Communist Party of India has condemned the decision to conduct the upcoming by-election of five assembly constituencies in Manipur on November 7 amid the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic. Press release from the CPI, Manipur State declared that the party will not field any candidates for the election. 
Youths of Maisnam Lekai and Tangha Lekai in Kangabok Part 2 organized one day public discussion on the theme Joining Hands Youths of Kangabok Kendra for a New Political Revolution at Kangabok Part 2 today. Experts at the event spoke on the roles of youths in bringing political revolution in the world. Alleging that Manipur was forcefully merged to the Indian Dominion on October 15, 1949, proscribed Korkom has called a statewide total shutdown on October 15 by terming the day as National Black Day. Now, with that, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Panthoi B Group presents Panthoi B Housing Finance Company Limited, regulated by RBI, has completed its 15 years of service, having 13 branches including Guwahati. Provides subsidized home loan under PMAY CLSS Housing for All by 2022 mission. Panthoi B Microfin deals in microfinance. Panthoi B Needy Limited provides loans against fixed deposit and properties. Panthoi B Construction booking is going on for flats, villas, row house. For more details, kindly contact Panthoi B Housing Finance Company Limited and its subsidiary group of companies Welcome back after the break you're watching primetime English bulletin India's COVID-19 case load went past 69.79 lakhs with a single day spike of 73,272 new cases reported in the last 24 hours while the number of people who have recovered from the disease are above 59 lakhs pushing the recovery rates to above 85 percent as per the union ministry of health and family welfare that toll has reached 1 lakh 7410 and active covid 19 cases are above 8 lakh 83000 with maharashtra still on top with over 2 lakh 36000 active cases of covid 19. in the last 24 hours more than 11 lakh 64000 were tests were conducted across the country. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 3 crore 71 lakh people. Above 1 crore 73,000 people have died and recoveries are above 2 crore 79 lakh. USA is still on top with more than 26 lakh 11,000 active cases of COVID-19, followed by India and Brazil. Indian Red Cross Society Imphal East District Branch carried out COVID-19 awareness program at Bamon Lekai Hari Kagok Makong today. The program was held in collaboration with Apunba COVID-19 Task Force Brahmapur Hari Kagok Makong. Secretary of Indian Red Cross Society R.K. Nimai enlightened the attendees on how to ward off COVID-19. He urged everyone to follow COVID-19 related SOPs issued by the government. Healthcare mobile app of TPS Private Limited named Connect was launched today. Managing Director and Chairman of Babina Group of Companies, Dr. Thangjum Dabli, launched the app. The app will provide facilities for medical loans, OPD appointment booking, exclusive discounts, doctor consultations, online lab report, and restaurant e menu, etc. TPS Private Limited organized the event at Classic Hotel in North AOC. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Thangjam Dabli said that the app will provide valuable assistance to the public in health-related activities like investigations, treatment and getting doctor's appointments, etc. If you analyze the healthcare, you can divide the society into three categories. One is privileged group, government servants, maybe central government or Manipur government servants. Those people who are working under these governments, they have the different schemes. And any medical treatment, the member of the government servant can go for reimbursement. So it's not a problem for them to go to private sector and spend a lot of money because the, that money will be reimbursed. On the other hand, below poverty lined group, they are also being given a lot of opportunities by by the government, both from centre and also local government. How about the other people who are unfortunate not getting job in the government sector and they are also not under the below poverty line. So here comes the role of this Connect Health Card and these are the uh, some of the examples that the, the discount systems, then your insurance systems, etc. will be able to help the patients. 
All Manipur Students Union AMSU held one day open discussion on imposition of school monthly fees by government during lockdown at its office today. Parents and guardians of students of Catholic missionary schools, private schools and many people working for students welfare took part in the meet. Attendees unanimously took five resolutions. The resolutions are to urge the state government to revoke the order dated October 5 issued by the Education as Department, Government of Manipur, allowing private and aided schools to collect 30% tuition fees from students for the period of school closure due to COVID-19 lockdown, not to give any monthly fees by parents and guardians until the government has given an, an exact clarification to urge school authorities to, dem to stop demanding monthly fees immediately and to conduct a meet to form teacher associations in every private missionary, CBSC and aided schools at the earliest. Secretary of All Manipur Students Guardians Organization as Sumati, AMSU Advisor Tokchom Suresh and AMSU President Peter Lashram presided at the meet. Students of Lilong Haurebi College today carried out a protest demonstration demanding suspension of the ex-principal of the college, Dr. A. Surenjit. It may be mentioned that Dr. A. Surenjit is currently serving as principal of Biramangol Sambung College. Effigy of Dr. A. Surenjit was also burnt down by the agitating students who took out their protests on National Highway in Fal Moray Road. Divisional Forest Officer and Ziribam Forest Division observed 65th Wildlife Week in Ziribam District today. The observance on the theme Roar, that is Roar and Revive, Exploring Human Animal Relationships was held at Ziribam Forest Division Office at Uchathol. Online slogan competition on saving wildlife was held for students on the occasion. Bishnupur Forest Division and Governing Body Mangol Nganbi College also jointly observed World Migratory Birds Day come 65th World Wildlife Week Celebration 2020 on the theme Birds Connect Our World at Mangol Nganbi College in Ningtou Kong, Bishnupur today. Divisional Forest Officer, Bishnupur Forest Division, Dr. Rebecca Soibam, Chanu MFS, Secretary of Mangol Nganbi College Governing Body, K. Ibohal, and R.O. Bishnupur S. Ratan Kumar flagged off awareness come anti-poaching campaign on the occasion. Nine individuals who rescued wild animals and handed over to a forest department were felicitated on the occasion. <laughs> Officials of Veterinary Department Mori carried out vaccination drive for domestic livestock today. They administered HS and BQ vaccines to altogether 2,750 pet dogs and 25 cows in Mori town. Lalit Kala Sangam held its 31st Foundation Day celebrations at Cookie Inn today. Commissioner of Art and Culture M. Joy launched a website of the Academy on the occasion. Academy course materials, audio and visual library, old musics, folk songs and other items will be kept in the public domain on the website. Folk Ensemble Manipur in Haibong Pokpi held its annual 7th Teachers Day celebration today. Students of the Pena Institution organized the event at the institution's main hall. Students felicitated their teachers on the occasion. 
Manipur Youth Cultural Organization held its 21st Foundation Day celebrations at Iboyaima Shumang Lila Shanglen in Palace Compound today. Padma Sri Nabawarepa Sangit Nata Academy Awardee and Lifetime Secretary of Manipur State Shumang Lila Council, Saugrak Pam Hemanta, NSD Theatre Activist, Ketri Jugendro, State Awardee Playwright P. H. Gunachandra, President of Manipur State Shumang Lila Council M. Purnimashi Leima and President of Manipur Youth Cultural Organization Ibo Pishak were among those present at the event. Indian Red Cross Society in Fall East District Branch organized Voluntary Blood Donation Camp as part of National Voluntary Blood Donation Day today. Many volunteers donated blood at the camp held at Jennings Hospital, Porampad Transfusion Medicine Department. Goa has become the first Hargar Jal state in the country by providing tap water connection to every rural household. The state has provided tap water connection to 2,30,000 rural households. North Goa with 1,65,000 rural households and South Goa with 98,000 rural households in 191 gram panchayats are fully saturated with a short piped water supply through tap connections. Jal Shakti Ministry said Goa's achievement is an example for other states to emulate and ensure every rural home gets tap connection and especially in these times of COVID-19 pandemic. The ministry said the state is now planning for a sensor-based service delivery monitoring system to monitor the functionality of water supply. Mixed martial arts MMA fighter from Manipur, Roshan Mainam, won the opening bout of one championship, Reign of Dynasties, via submission on Friday evening, beating Liu Peng Shui of China in Singapore. In his professional MMA record, Roshan has won five out of seven matches so far. The 23-year-old martial art fighter from Thaubal district took on one Hefei flyweight tournament champion Liu Peng and won by rear naked choke RNC at 2 minutes and 27 seconds in the second round. The Manipuri star is an assistant instructor at Evolve Mixed Martial Arts in Singapore. He is the first Indian to be qualified to be in the prestigious MMA team. It may be mentioned that Roshan Mainam earned a resounding victory on his one championship debut by defeating Cambodia's Khon Si Chan in the very first round in November 2019. A 10-year-old Manipuri boy, Rikesh Sagolsim, has made a robot a automatic training machine of table tennis. The automatic machine will help table tennis enthusiasts with their practice. He has installed the machine at Thao Table Tennis Center. Rikesh Sagolsim hails from Thaubal Wangmataba College Road in Thaubal District. He is a student of Class 6 at D. Regina English School in Chikmerong. Eastern Sporting Union extended financial aid to former footballer of Eastern Sporting Union and kidney patient Angobi from Nambol Naurem Lekai today. Following failure of both her kidneys, her mother donated one of her kidneys and Angobi went through kidney transplant recently at PGI Chandigarh, but her condition worsened even after the transplant. Indian boxers will conduct 52-day training come competition at Italy and France. Altogether, 28 players, including 10 male boxers, 6 female boxers, 8 male coach and 4 female coach, will take part in the competition. The training under the Ages of Boxing Federation of India will be held at Italy from October 15 till December 5. A total of 13 male and female boxers will compete in the Alexis Vestine International Boxing Competition to be held at Nantes in France from October 28 till 30. Indian boxers Amit Pangal, Ashish Kumar, Satish Kumar, Simaranjit Kaur, Lavlina 
Bogohan and Pooja Rani, who have already secured a berth in Tokyo Olympic Games, are participating in the training. While boxer Vikas Kumar will not be able to participate in the training as he is currently undergoing a training in USA. Six times world champion Manipur's MC Maricom and Manish Kaushik have also skipped due to health reasons. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Government reaffirms venue for National Sports University as submitted earlier to center. National Sports University Harautel Protection Committee suspends agitation. Former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, Gai Kangam, in a Twitter feed, accuses BJP state government of snatching lands of tribals for construction of National Sports University. Education Minister S. Rajan tells concerned to works executing agencies of education department not to release bills to contractors if they don't give quality works. Manipur observes 29th World Mental Health Day 2020 on Mental Health for All, Greater Investment, Greater Access theme. And India's COVID-19 tally crosses 69.79 lakhs with over 73,000 new cases reported in the last 24 hours. Country's recovery rate stands above 85%. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.